If you want to know how to get capes like this in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, this video is for you. Hey everyone, what's up guys? My name is ALG Sonic and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're gonna showcase on how to get these capes, this one behind me and many more in Minecraft Bedrock Edition and not the Java Edition because it's easier in the Java Edition. Before watching this video, make sure to subscribe and also hit the bell, it's really important. Also like the video if you are gonna enjoy and without further ado, let's go into it. Okay, so every single link will be down in the description. All you need is ES File Explorer. By the way, I only know how to do it on Android. I have no idea how to do it on iOS or any other platform. You may be able to do this in the Windows 10. It requires other programs different than the Android app. So yeah, all you need to do is you need to have ES File Explorer and APK Editor. And also the, all the other different types of files you're gonna need the skin files and also the texture pack that that is called the ui changer so you need to change your ui and we are gonna talk about that uh, later so once you have downloaded all that just go to your es file explorer go to the internet storage and then go to downloads all right so when you go to downloads you're gonna find the file that you already downloaded all you need to do this is basically a zip file all you need to do is hold on it and then click on more after that click on extract to and choose just click ok just the first one and click ok it's the same thing after that you're gonna see something like that it's called capes 1.4.2 click on that and enter again okay so when we go to cape presets you're gonna see all the capes that we have you can also make your own cape or grab another cape from these Okay, so the one that I showcased before, it was the melon cape. This time, we're gonna try something different. Let's say we're gonna uh, try diamond cape. Hold on it and make sure to click copy. If you don't click copy, you may delete this cape forever. You may delete the cape forever. So you have to click copy and then go back, go to vanilla and click paste. That's all you just gotta do. Second step is delete that image or folder, delete that image. Just hold on it and click delete. There you go, after that, change the name of the diamond cape, just click rename and delete every single uh, letter before the dots. Don't delete the dot png, just delete that and then write in cape, that's it. So it's gonna replace the other one and don't worry if it shows the old one, it's just okay, okay? Alright, so after that you are going to have to find your skin. Just grab your skin, just hold on it and click copy again. After clicking copy, go back to the capes folder, again click capes and then go to the vanilla. Again press paste and that's it. All you need to do right now is delete this file. It's called Nitro SFN. Remember that it's called Nitro SFN. So when you delete this folder or image, you have to rename your image or your skin Nitro SFN. And there you go, it's gonna replace the other one and it's gonna like a Steve skin, but it actually is not a Steve skin, it is actually your skin. When you click on it, when you click this time only, it's actually your skin. There you go, it's my skin. Okay, so we are basically done with the ES File Explorer. All we need to do right now is go to the APK Editor. We click on the APK Editor and we click on Select APK from App. After that, we're gonna, gonna search for Minecraft. If you didn't find it right here, go and search for Minecraft. Click find, and there you go, you're gonna find Minecraft. Click on Minecraft, and then click on full edit. So yeah, then click on files, and you're gonna wait a little bit if it's taking so long for you. For me, it took a while in the first time. But yeah, click on the backward button, and then go to assets. After that, go to skin packs, and then go to the vanilla and there you go we're gonna find everything over here but this is not the end you have to delete every single file that are in the uh, minecraft folder delete everything don't be scared this is just importing and rebuilding the apk to the new one if it even makes sense so yeah click on the path plus sign over there and then go to downloads when you're gonna go to downloads click on the capes 1.4.2 again Click on it again and then you're gonna find the vanilla. Click on the vanilla and these are the new 
files that we are going to replace and put into the new uh, Minecraft APK if that even makes sense. Anyway, just click on it by one by one until you get everything done. So yeah, make sure you do it um, by order. Like I don't even know I don't even know if you miss and don't do it by order, but just make sure to do it by order so it makes sure it works. After doing it, just click on the build button over there and wait for a little bit. I'm gonna wait for it until it rebuild and then I'm gonna be right back. Okay, it's finally done. It's gonna take about one minute to two minutes. So yeah. So when it says succeed, go back, don't click anything, go back to the home menu, and now you have to delete your own Minecraft. Make sure to back up every single word so you don't de delete any word that you have. And yeah, back up every single thing. I'm just gonna delete the uninstall Minecraft and you go, if you don't get the message if you get the message that you have to back up the words just click cancel and you're gonna be all set up all your data of Minecraft is gonna be there so yeah we are just deleting the APK next up let's go back to the APK editor and click install and this is also uh, it's gonna take a while click on install again and yeah, before, if you are using the APK editor the first time, which is you probably are, you're gonna need to enable the uh, permission for the files, if you get what I mean. And also you're gonna need to, the permission to give the app itself that it needs to download, the, to install more apps, another apps, APKs. So yeah, you have to do that. Nothing is dangerous, nothing, there's no viruses or anything. So yeah. Alright, it's gonna say app installed, then you're gonna need to uh, press open to open the app. If, it, if you get kicked out from the app itself, make sure to go back as I did. So yeah, go back to the Minecraft and you should see this message. So you're gonna have this message, allow Minecraft to access photos, medias and files to your device. Click allow and everything, everything should work. Okay, as you can see we are inside the game and the last thing that we are we forgot to showcase is how to get the resource pack on how to change your UI because you are not going to be able to get the cape without the UI so let's do that. Okay so the link will be down in the description as I said for all the files there's a skin UI uh, changer there's actually two files so if, if the first one didn't work for you you can try the second one and yeah so all you need to do is download the file and click on it like this and it's gonna select minecraft by default so if you if it's not selected all you need to do is tap on minecraft and click this time only so it's gonna uh, launch the app or the file in the app which is minecraft you're gonna see import started like this so you're gonna wait a little bit and you're gonna see for you it's gonna say uh, import succeeded for me because I had the duplicated file because I already have the file before. All you need to do right now is go to settings and then go to global resources. From here all you need to do is go to your, okay if you, if you don't see anything right here like I'm doing, this, this happened to me before, just exit the app and go back again. Alright we are back and as you can see it worked, when, you, when we click to my packs we are gonna see skin UI changer so this is the one that I prefer, if that, if that didn't work for you go and there's another UI changer by another creator and the link will be down in the description for the creators, the creators I mean so yeah. So yeah all you need to do click activate and then go back, when you go back you are gonna see loading uh, resources, resource packs so yeah. You're gonna make uh, you're gonna make sure to wait a while until it loads. There you go. After doing that, click as you can see right here. We got the old or the new skins. Don't click on new. Click on the old. This is what we all need. And as you can see, this is not this is not the cave. This is the my cave. When we click on this side, we are going to see the diamond cave that we had. And this is what we all needed in the first beginning of the game. So yeah, as you can see we have everything set up, 
your the cape the cape with the skin make sure to click confirm this is all i always forget about this and then click play and then go to your world all right you guys this is my world and as you can see i have the new cape so yeah you can do the same it's an easy way to get capes in minecraft bedrock edition again this is not java edition as you can see i have different cape everyone everyone can see this even you can see, see the cape there is no there's no problems with that so yeah thank you guys for watching join the edgy team make sure to subscribe like the bell like the bell make sure to subscribe hit the bell and also like the video if you learned something new today also share the video with your friends if they also if you want them them how to make the capes also so yeah thank you guys for watching join the edgy team and yeah